Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN as we are live in Cape May at the Barefoot Beach Bar right on the corner of Beach Avenue and Decatur. We are with the unofficial mayor of Cape May. I don't think he's ever run for office before, but he should because there's not a nook and cranny down here that doesn't know. That would be the fine, the one, the only, Dave Weinberg, Eagles beat writer for the press of Atlantic City. Long time, Cape May resident. How long, Dave? Would you, would you like to answer? Uh, let's see. I'm 61, so 60 and a half years. 60 oh. and a half. Wow. <laughs> what hospital were you born in? What's that? I'm sorry? What hospital were you born in? Oh, I was actually born in Germany. My father was uh, stationed in the Army. So, wow. Uh, okay. And, uh, he got the job as a head football coach at Cape May High School. And when I was less than one year old and family moved down and... The rest is Cape May history, as, as you say. Now, that's something. You and I have played golf before. We've known each other. I've been down in the area for 15 years. That's never been brought up. I thought you would have been born at, like, you know, a Shore Medical or a... a Both of my brothers you know, were born at Burdett Tomlin. Burdett Tomlin, or, right. Or you know, Cape Regional, whatever you call it Whatever, now, but, you yep, know, they, yep, they always yep. change the names on us, just like <laughs> they do around Cape May. I wish we had something, like, with a microphone to have the off-the-air conversations as Dave is the venerable wealth of, like, well, this was called this, and this was this, and my buddy wanted time did this and then my problem was here you know just uh, give, give us first of all your history with this property well first off i can start you out it's not called beach avenue for anybody that's lived here more than 20 years it's Fine. beach drive okay very all good. right all right who if do you I, ask you ask who any local for that big sign that says i know beach i know avenue. you should blame the mayor who actually i grew up with but <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, yeah this building's uh holds some memories for me like we were talking about be you know before i came on um my uh my senior prom was actually held at the top of this hotel back when it was a restaurant okay. and, uh, I regretfully say that you know there's pictures to prove that we had I've seen that in, picture yeah yours 19, is a powder blue tux right? correct 1976 <laughs> and uh, regrettably the theme was feelings which is the worst song in the history of, of music but uh, yeah I mean up and down this I, I can tell you stories about I, I lived I worked across the street here uh, Cabanas used to be called Gloria's okay and uh, I was a bartender and a, and a doorman there when uh, just out of college right they had Pacific Orchestra Robert Hazard was there one time oh, wow. uh, Truke of America which gave uh, Sambuca shots along the bar <laughs> <So>. <laughs> fine yeah oh yeah everybody uh, I can probably tell you a story about every building here <laughs> I will interject with this Ryan as he says feelings was the song for his prom mm -hmm. do you remember the song for your prom I don't know if you want to hear my prom story. <laughs> well, no, I don't need a whole story. I just I didn't want to have know. one. You didn't go to the prom? <laughs> None of us did. No, it was, it's not. Long story short, there was about 70 of us on a couple buses and we never made it inside the prom. Oh, oh. no, that's an so, odd. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe you were having too much fun. Basically, I know yeah, mine, about yours. Yeah. So I know mine was um, the song from Dirty Dancing, the uh, time of your life. Now, I've had the time yes, of my, you yes, know, yes. And, and, and that was because the people that were running the prom, that was the huge movie at that. Oh, okay. I don't know what year that came out. I graduated in 89, so probably around that time. But like my brother's prom song was Thank You Thank by you. Led Zeppelin. Oh my goodness. If okay. If the sun right. refused to shine, mm -hmm. I would still be loving you. Yep. That's one that maybe stands up the test of time. Sure. Right? Dirty Dancing was 87, so a couple of years later, I guess it was still. Did anybody put Lexicon. Baby in the Corner when you were there? Or no? Uh, yeah, but there was a girl. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they did the whole dance. That, <laughs> Please that don't was the tell thing. me they had lifted up. No, she, absolutely. She wasn't wearing a pink dress, but Rachel and Trary, or <laughs> Rachel and Trary, Rachel and Jamie and Trary, that were the hot couple at the time, oh, yeah, they went out and did, you know, and you know she set it up ahead of time. So oh, of that, course, you know, of course. They could show off and stuff. Who sings that feeling? song by the way more somebody maybe i don't know not shirley basie no she's the one from uh how about andy williams no even before the, oh morris albert yep that's morris it. albert that's your prom song for my senior year my junior one was precious and few <laughs> which was with a powder or a mint green tux how about this ryan <laughs> how about we let the bill buckner haters off the hook and say what was your prom there song you go, there you go. do you remember it 609-403-0973 what was your song it's your senior prom do you remember it did you like the song are you like dave embarrassed by it just a few <laughs> years later as it continues to rear its ugly head that was by the way a topic we had on before you came on That's we were talking listening. about blunders on my way here, yeah. and uh somebody just texted in pat from brigantine thank you pat i didn't realize i forgot leon let was not one but two 
Yeah. Leon Lett had the Don Beebe run him down, knocking the ball away, but Leon Lett also tried to make the Snow Angels. Remember, he was mm-hmm. going to like go in the end zone, and then the Dolphins players, he touched the ball, and then, you yep. know, yep. et cetera, et cetera. All mayhem ensued. <laughs> I forgot that. Was, that uh, was Jim Marshall mentioned? Just curious. Yes, Jim Runway yeah. Marshall was mentioned. Okay. He was mentioned very early on. Yes. And there's a guy walking around here. Thank you, sir, for bringing us the delicious 20 ounce waters that. He yeah, had, that was clutch. He, oh, I haven't <laughs> cracked mine open, so there you go. Oh, no, he no, um, he uh, came by in his Vikings hat, kept the pointing at the Vikings hat, and then handed us waters. But oh, I, okay. we were kind of on the air. I never really got the chance to see if he knew Jim Wrongway Marshall or any of the Purple Peter people eaters. I'm or, sure this is great, but has that crush special started yet or no? Oh, yeah, they're ready. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's 47. Uh, I Dave's just, got the right, the right, right. mindset. <laughs> well, he's got sand in his shoes. Oh, right? it is exactly. Memorial Day weekend, right? right? There you go. All right, so Dave Weinberg is our special guest. He's going to be with us for a couple of segments here because I just think there's so much Kate May history sure. to mine. And, and I guess I will also then add this. Um, famous people in Kate May, right, uh, Oh my goodness. over the years that have come down. Well, a couple right? of weeks ago, Oprah was here. Oprah, okay, uh, her, yeah, uh, I've heard okay. of her. Yeah. Her uh, boyfriend. or Stedman or whatever, right, partner, was, uh, friend, pal, whatever you want to call him. Star player at Middle Township High School. Yeah. Was one of their first 1,000-point scores. Right. So, uh, yeah, they come back for a reunion at Whitesboro every so often. And, yes. Uh, yeah, they always stay at Congress Hall. Uh, Tina Fey is here every uh, 4th of July. Right. Uh, she's got a house here. Um, now, here's my Tina Fey story real quick since you brought Tina Fey up. Sure. You know Mike Frankel. Right. Uh, yep, I no, worked I just with the day. at uh, TV40, and Mike yeah. Frankel, SNJ, is now. So Mike's still hustling out there. I believe his outfit is called Jersey Sports Zone. There you go, Frankel. There's right. your plug. I saw so, him at a Millville baseball yeah, game. Yes, so day. he's still shooting high school highlights on a regular basis. Mm, I want to be a part of that group. Wow. He got married. Mike Frankel got married at Congress yep. Hall in the summer. And I want to say it was like June or July. Okay. Right? It was definitely hot. He got married out on the front lawn of Congress Hall, Ryan. And while we were at the ceremony, there was some kid yelling and screaming. And basically the way the front lawn of Congress Hall was set up, beautiful front lawn, but you've got the entrance to the hotel. And then there's like just a little planted row of like evergreen trees to basically create some sort of barrier between the pool and the lawn. And while this ceremony is going on, to you, Michael Frankel, take Jenna to be your lawful, right? This kid is yelling and screaming her head off and just going bananas and wouldn't shut up. And I even said to my girlfriend, like, man, I'd hate to be the mother of whoever's that kid was, right? You know? (laughs) And so the ceremony gets done, and Susan, my girlfriend, says to me, you know, is there any reason that Tina Fey would be here? Because I think I just saw her, and I think that was her kid screaming. Oh, and, oh, and if oh, you yeah, read man. her books, she talks about what a brat her little kid was <laughs> growing up. Her book, Bossy Pants, mm-hmm. she talks about how she didn't want to take him out in public because these kids felt so oh, entitled. My stuff. So that's Mike Frankel's claim to fame that I said from years on, he should now always say, well, Tina Fey was at my wedding. There you go. He yep. didn't invite yep. her. Claim to fame, yep. Know, yep. was there. Oh, yes, they crashed there's my wedding. A, there's a bunch of people. Anne Hathaway's parents have a house here. Now, have you ever wherever. seen Anne Hathaway here? Uh, I've I've played golf with her father, but I have not seen her. Wow, you person. played golf with And when you played father. golf with him, did he just say, hi, I'm Bill, Tom, Joe, Frank? Like, he didn't say, like. No, well, I actually, I played golf with her parents. Okay. Because uh, their mother's also a golfer. And they were very humble, very down to earth. Um, didn't really like, you know, try to big time anything. Right. Um, but yeah, they, they were very nice. It was like Cape May National. Yep. And, uh, they, uh, yeah, had a great time, had a lot of fun. They, they you know, I mean, they, everybody knew who they were because they're, they're here every sure. year and sure. she's actually yeah, heavily involved, heavily involved in the theater community here as well. Right. So, um, yeah, we, we had a really good time. Miles Teller grew up here. The, yeah. The actor, believe it or not, he was here at elementary and junior high. Um, I saw him at the beach club, which is down the far end of Cape May over uh, 4th of July weekend last year. A um, bunch of people that uh, always, Cape May's a pretty well-known vacation spot. The late Seymour Hoff, uh, Philip Seymour yep. Hoffman, yeah. yep. he was here every year. He had a place in Cape May Point. Deborah Harry from uh, Blondie. Blondie, right? yep. That's she her. has a house there now. Okay. And uh, yeah, you see people like, it's kind of, uh, I guess it's the go-to place for a lot of celebrities. They just kind of enjoy it because it's, it's not as quite as crowded as some of the other places. I mean, it can get packed. Don't get me wrong, but um, you, there's also if you want to get out of the 
get out of the way and have a little bit of solitude, a little bit of quiet time, you can do that too. Right. So what's a what's a hidden gem in Cape May? Like what's something that you know that the average person doesn't know? And, and if or you a don't place. want to reveal it on the air, yeah, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, that's fair. Um, it doesn't have to be a place if you want to keep that. Uh... Boy, let's see. Boy, that's tough. A hidden gem. Um, Could there's... be anything. You know, I mean. Whether it's a beach or... Well, uh, my favorite beach to go to is uh, all the way down at Trenton Avenue, um, where the Peter Shields Inn is. I don't know if you know where that is, but uh, right down there, well, um, not many people know that there's no parking meters down there, which is ah. a big selling point. Yeah. But um, up until, I want to say, 15 years ago, there was no beach there. Uh, the, far, the, the farthest north or east, if you will, uh, beach that was here was Philadelphia Avenue. They had this major beach replenishment project, which is why the beaches are now maybe five times the size as they used to be. Yeah. Right. Um, but they created Trenton Avenue, Reading, Baltimore, uh, Brooklyn Avenue. Poverty Beach is all the way down the end. Poverty Beach is probably like a hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about. Nice. Uh, the surfers will probably be mad at me for revealing that because they, <laughs> they really enjoy that, it there. That's but, their uh, spot, huh? My favorite spot is Trenton Avenue, though. It's right down the street from where I grew up. I still own that house, and there's a two and a half block walk to the beach right wow. so are there stages not to reveal exactly where your addresses are but you have your parents house that's right near the beach and then you have your house that's a little farther away right yeah i actually um i grew up there i still own it uh for my parents house i rented out to a coast guard family okay because uh, like, like you had mentioned earlier i guess the coast guard is a really huge part of this community the only recruiting um training center is here right it used to have one in california but they closed it so now it's a uh, if you want to go in the coast guard you got to come through here and um so it's uh, Arnold Palmer went through basic training here. Yep. Uh, everybody used to play uh, golf at Wildwood Country Club, or I think it's called the Shore Club now. It is. But um, yeah, it's uh, I I still own that house, and I live out in North Cape May, which is near the near the ferry. I guess is okay. the best way to put it. All right. But hopefully moving back here pretty soon. Oh, though. there you go. I see downsizing to come full circle, and yet and yet yeah. even though you're near the ferry. If you're going to come down to the beach, you'll you'll stash your car at your place down here, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I hate to be a snob about it, but you will not catch me on a bay beach. Yeah, uh, you just will not. The horseshoe crabs, greenhead flies. I'm with you, man. I'm um, with you. Everything else, there's no no. Uh, I mean, the only you'll I go to the Escape the Cape Triathlon. I go in that every year. That's coming up again this Sunday. As a matter of fact, that's the only time you'll see me swimming in that bay. Is for that's where you swim. No, I'm an ocean guy, sand in my shoes. I have a hard time even crossing the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> We're spending a few minutes with Dave Weinberg here as he's here live with us at the Barefoot Beach Bar, and I'm calling him the unofficial mayor of Cape May. You know, well, the if, mayor and I actually grew up together, Chuck Lear. Right. Uh, we were in the same ki kindergarten class together. So. Is that right? Oh, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. the one that changed the sign to Beach Avenue? That's no, no, no. It was, was done before that. <laughs> uh -huh. Because my, my wife's relatives uh, used to own with the Rusty Nail and the Beach Shack. Yep. He used to call the Coachman's back then, the Hober family. And um, my wife used to work the front desk. And uh, people would always get, you know, when GPS first came out and maps, everybody would type in Beach Drive. And that's the street that the bay is called on. So everybody be driving up and down the bay looking for hotels and, you know, where am I, where are I? Ah. And so you'd have to say, no, it's really Beach Avenue. So, yeah, but uh, since I was a kid, everybody who grew up here knows it as Beach Drive. Though. Technology. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's a, see you millennials, Ryan. You're glued to your phones. <laughs> I know. We <laughs> ruin everything. The old name. I've been able to ascertain the roars of the crowd. As much as I'd like to say it's for Pete Thompson or Ryan Rothstein or Dave Weiberg. No, they're playing football by throwing the nerf across Beach Drive. There you go. To the beach. And then if the person <laughs> catches the ball, they erupt in cheers. I don't know if that's safe, but hey, that's what they're doing. So God bless them all. Come out and watch the fun and join us here at the Beach Bar, the Barefoot Beach Bar at Marquis de Lafayette in Cape May, Ryan. We're cruising, PT. Dave Weinberg, like you said, joining us for an extended edition. We're going to take a quick break, but Dave's hanging out. He's not going anywhere. We're going to have some fun, talk a little bit more Cape Sounds May. Good. Sounds good. Maybe whatever else you want to get Eagles, into. Little little boxing, little blackjack. It's all on the table. It's certain, all on uh, the table. Marcus Hayes has been known to vacation here, too. So uh -huh. a, Oh, there you go. And Marcus Hayes Secrets out. is joining the show at well, 530. Heard. All right, welcome back. Sports Bash, live on location, Barefoot Beach Bar, beautiful Memorial Day. Really could not ask for a better day. Hanging out at the Marquis de Lafayette Hotel, Brian Rothstein, Pete Thompson, and Dave Weinberg, the unofficial <laughs> mayor of the city. We're yep, going to get that trending. Yeah, that's, that's your new title. Follow him on Twitter. 
Press AC Weinberg. He's an Eagles beat writer, writer for the Press of AC. Been around for a long time. Covers South Jersey sports and you know knows Kate May like the back of his oh, hand. Oh, absolutely does. He was saying to me during the break, you know, Ryan, I don't know if you know this, but like when I was 14, I started caddying at a golf course, you know, and, and it was like 14 bucks a bag. And when I finished, if you got less than 100, you were doing something wrong. Uh -huh. So, I mean, the, the times changed, the prices changed, and, and Dave relayed a job that he did down here from about, well, a little longer, but what was that job, Dave? Uh, uh, there's a, a beach service on, along the beach. It goes from uh, Poverty Beach all the way to the Cove called Steggers Beach Service. Uh, an old-time football baseball coach at Cape May High, uh, Coach Steger, owns it. Now his grandson runs it. But I, yeah, I got a job there when I was 13, and uh, every summer you'd see me on the on one of these stands running rafts, selling umbrellas and deck chairs. Till I was actually till I was 25. I did the same thing, Dave. Did you really? Yeah, I did oh, no, it in Atlantic City at a casino that's no longer with us. So oh, okay. It, may it rest in a peace. No the longer. old Atlantic City Hilton. I did it from oh. about 13 to 18. No kidding. Just about ran that, yeah. chairs and umbrellas yeah. all summer long. And then our, uh, yeah, and we got uh, two free sodas a day. There and, you go. Uh, and, and, <laughs> Here's your yeah. payment. Yeah. yeah, free That's sodas. Basically, uh, we and, actually had to go block. on. We had to go. My senior year, we had to go on strike to get minimum wage. That's something. You went on strike. Yep, that again, is awesome for one day. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. I mean, it was a great summer job to have. And you just sitting on the beach, get tan, watch the girls go by. Yes. Sorry, Karen, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> now you're now. How many years for you and Karen, by the way? Uh, we'll be married 37 years in a couple of weeks. Very good. Yeah. High yeah, school sweetheart. Absolutely. She was at the top of the mark absolutely. with me. Absolutely, she was there in that <laughs> yeah. picture. That's the problem. Great. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, we had a, we had a great time. All right. She worked at Taylor Pork Roll on the boardwalk right down the, next to uh, Convention Hall. Wait, she worked where? Say Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Pork, Pork Roll. Roll. That's the name of a of a spot up here. Ta well, it used to be. Taylor is the brand, but yes. some people will say I'll have a Taylor ham and cheese, or I'll have a pork roll and cheese. There's there's a delineation line, Dave, right to where Correct. how you describe it. Correct. I didn't know there was that was the actual name of a place. That's really cool. Oh that yeah, they the... used to have like spots all over the place. Wildwood Boardwalk, even I think in Atlantic City. Um, yeah, you just. Uh, there was uh, a family from Pennsylvania that owned it. It's not there anymore, but um, nice. Yeah, my my uh, my girlfriend at the time. Now my wife worked there for summers for uh, all through high school. Now, Beautiful pork rolls, just the little you know, it's a small piece of meat, right? It's I a mean, circular right. thing. You sure, still sure. get it in the acne. But, but I'm saying that that's not a full meal. You've oh, no, a, no, 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 you've no. I'm segueing here. You've had a few full meals down here, too, as oh, he was yes. asking you for hidden gems oh, yeah, of yeah, KMA, yeah. by all means. Uh, I don't mean to be. I don't the floor mean to, is yours, maestro. Oh, I don't mean to brag, but I'll put Kate May's restaurants against anybody's in the state. Maybe anybody's in the East Coast. It's just that I could name you 10 restaurants that are as good a meal as anything you ever had. Uh, starting with the Washington Inn is probably the most um, the most famous one. And um, they, they'll give you anything from, from steaks to uh, seafood. It's kind of, it's fine dining. And there's probably five others like fine dining restaurants. You could have like 410 Bank Street, it's more of a Caribbean flavor. There's mm -hmm. Italian restaurants. Um, Peter Shields Inn, like I mentioned earlier. Peter Shields. A lot fantastic. of date nights, a lot of anniversaries, correct, a lot of correct. engagements, proposals take oh, place yeah. at the Peter Shields. I see that all absolutely, the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep, yep. They're heavily involved in beach weddings and stuff like that. But um, you can go to like more casual stuff. Lucky Bones is one of my favorites. Me that's too. What, oh, yeah. I, that's the same family that owns Washington Inn, the Craig okay. family. They also own Lucky Bones. Um, yeah. Lobster House has been there since the 1920s. You can't go wrong there. I love um, it there. I, I will tell you, like the there's kind of like some out of the way places though that um, you can really uh, get a good meal. Uh, Big Wave Burritos is fantastic. Ooh, okay. uh, it's right on, right that's on a Pittsburgh, new one. Right on Pittsburgh Avenue on your way out of town. Okay. Um, uh, that's fantastic. Key West Tacos is good. Cabanas is very underrated. Uh, the, the Marquis de Lafayette's food is excellent. Um, yeah, we have to include the home team. Yeah, very oh, good. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> yep. uh, I don't know if you like see, if you like fish tacos. There's probably like 10 places. Love that, fish tacos. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put that one against anybody. All um, right. Rusty Nails are fantastic. Key West Tacos are fantastic. Uh, Big Wave Burritos are great. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't, when you have like, you know, this many uh, boats and marinas and stuff, you just can't go wrong with seafood, which is like, you know, I'm a huge... I'm a huge seafood buff, so yeah, I, I could, I could go on and on about the restaurants. What, here. what year did Lucky Bones open? If you were guessing, or about what time? Oh gosh, I don't know, ten years ago maybe. Okay. Maybe let me a little bit because less. Because I that. believe that I was playing in the Cape May Ch Chamber of Commerce event with you yes. at mm -hmm. at your home National. course, your happy place, Cape May National, <laughs> and I won some gift basket that had a gift certificate to Lucky Bones and a hoodie. 
for Lucky Bones. My girlfriend got the hoodie. I took her to Lucky Bones for dinner. Score. The rest is history. Dan Baker was there having dinner with his. Oh, wow. He yeah. said, hi, Pete. Now dining at Lucky Bones, Pete <laughs> Thompson. Thompson, number Whoa. two. Yes. Yes, no doubt. <laughs> Ryan, Pete, and Dave hanging out on this beautiful Memorial Day Monday.